Heritage is something we're born with. It stays with us throughout our lives. Here, I live off of memories in Havana. And was raised and educated in Miami. My heritage is with me wherever I go. My family is Cuban. I grew up here. When I think of my heritage, I think of home, our traditions, our people, their stories, our music, uh, all the things that bring us together that are so important to all of us. Cuba, to me, it's paradise. It's where I was born, so it'll always be home to me. Heritage is something I've found fascinating since I became old enough to reach the shelf where my own family albums were kept. That's when I started thinking about how their experiences had an impact on my own life. It's those ephemeral moments that we strive to record and preserve to keep them alive in our history. I think about what my kids will know about what it means to be Cuban. The everyday things that people leave behind, like letters, diaries, and even recipes. These records are the data that we preserve in order to detect meaning at points in time. To me, it's all about tradition. As we look to our parents, our grandparents, we learn of these experiences that they had and things that they went through and it becomes a part of us that stays with us throughout our lives. It's part of identity. Being open to the world, learning about and being immersed in different cultures, it makes one think more about one's own heritage and appreciate it as something that is truly unique. My heritage is a part of who I am. When you start to look at your own community and how it's evolved, you find an element of the past playing an active role in our present time. You see the past is in the present. And that history is now. My name is Angela Martinez. I was born in uh, San Antonio de los Baños, Havana, Cuba, um, in 1977. The Cuban Heritage Collection is a place of community supported by the community that's dedicated to preserving the traditions, the history of the island, and the Cuban experience. It's about preserving and giving access to the stories and memories of Cuba and the Cuban diaspora. Cuba is a place many people here in Miami and South Florida and in so many parts of the world recognize as their heritage. The family records passed down through generations, the photographs and letters which document a place and time, these were the things that drew me to the CHC. That's what makes it a resource, this incredible scope of historical records going all the way back to the colonial era. As a fellow, one thing that amazed me throughout my research was the depth of materials for topics within my particular areas of focus, secret Chinese societies and Afro-Cuban religions. So many of these rare records provide information that is little known and yet so critical to understanding the larger history of the island. So many people have worked hard through the years to save these stories and experiences that would have been lost or forgotten. And that has created the opportunity for us to have projects like the Cuban Theater Digital Archive, where UM faculty are collaborating with the CHC, students and artists to capture those ephemeral moments and create new ones. 
you see these artifacts of the past actually driving new ideas and experiences, fellowships, oral histories, and research leading to new knowledge and wider access to that knowledge. Whether through social media, or in a blog post, or by word of mouth, it allows the cycle to continue, and for this wider body of knowledge to grow and evolve. As a library, we specialize in preserving the tangible, but we are really equipped for a much larger purpose, to make cultural heritage something that is accessible and approachable. Libraries support many kinds of research, and they can also inspire an artist or mentor a writer. Libraries can create new channels by which history and individual memories and experiences become part of a broader community conversation. We, as an academic and a cultural community, need a place like the Cuban Heritage Collection, a place that supports connectedness. Because no matter what your background or your research interests may be, this is a place that welcomes you. A place to come to learn, to share, to gather, to challenge, to talk about ideas as well as issues, and to reach new levels of understanding. From its founding, the University of Miami has been interested in this idea of Pan-Americanism, this idea of serving as a bridge across the Americas, opening up lines of communication and allowing many voices to share in this common dialogue. I think that's what hits home with the CHC. Their mission clearly embodies this global vision of the university. And yet there's also this very significant impact that the archives can have on an individual level. That one photograph or story donated 30 years ago can make a difference in someone else's life today. For me, um, Cuba, it's, um, it's a people. The people that I, that I grew up with, the people that I um, left behind in the island, and also the people that came here to the United States with me. In a way, for me, Cuba, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs>